The BUT has long championed the cause of enhancing literacy and numeracy education in Barbados primary schools and expressed our support for the initiative to introduce specialized teachers for this purpose. This initiative is crucial for improving the teaching and learning process in schools. For years, the BUT has passionately advocated for the establishment of a teaching service commission and we support the announcement made by the Prime Minister regarding the implementation of this commission. This is not the first such announcement, mm -hmm. but we hope that it will be the last. Uh -huh. Our support is driven by the belief that the complexities and nuances of the teaching profession require specialized attention and understanding. The union's advocacy stems from the recognition that the Ministry of Education has the biggest staff complement in government and that the teaching service differs significantly from other sectors of the public service and that it, its distinct needs and challenges are difficult to adequately address by the overarching Public Service Commission. The Prime Minister's inclusion of the Teaching Service Commission in her budgetary speech signals a landmark moment for educators across Barbados. This commission will ensure that focus is given to matters relating to recruitment, promotion, and if needed, the discipline of teachers. Let's hope that it's not needed. Mm -hmm. We hope that the establishment of this commission will also address the issue of the late payment and increments and other monies owed to teachers. We are also hopeful that the commission can lead to the ratification of various assignments in the teaching service. While the hiring of numeracy and literacy teachers is welcome, it would be remiss of me not to address the continued teacher shortage again in some schools. Even though the evidence is of this shortage is glaring, the BUT had to fight to have temporary primary school teachers reassigned in September. Despite this, the shortage persists. Schools are, are operating with inadequate staffing because the ministry is not hiring any new teachers to replace those who are on leave. Mm -hmm. The BUT receives concerns weekly from stressed out teachers who are forced to carry an additional <coughs> burden because of a lack of replacement for teachers who are on leave. Meanwhile, the ministry sees hiring communication specialists and stakeholder relations consultants as a priority. They even hired a lady who ushered anti rhetoric teacher rhetoric on a radio station during the COVID 19 pandemic. What a reward! Matters related to teachers, such as the payment of increments and salaries, are delayed due to inadequate staff at the Ministry of Education in some instances as only a few people are charged with dealing with the over 2,000 primary and nursery school teachers. This department can do with additional staff. Let's hope that the Teaching Service Commission will resolve this problem.